Hello, my name is John Gardner with Good Earth Natural Foods, located on Central Avenue next to Walmart. We have Todd Scarborough back. How are you and Todd? Doing great, John. It's good Excellent. to be here. Yes, in front of the cod liver oil. Yes. Did your grandmother ch- chase you around with that stuff? Well, to be honest with you, no. But <laughs> I know it's you know it's really popular actually before the time. You know, oh, that's oh yes. Between my age and your age. That, <laughs> but, uh, that, that's, that the, said, that's very funny. Yes, John. Yeah, there is a difference. <laughs> uh, but but yes, my age uh, group probably remembers that. that. Yeah, we, we remember that. Our grandmother's chasing us around with Kyle Everett. Well, back in the 50s, John, grandmother knew best. In fact, a lot of times I think grandmother was a great doctor. I mean, she you were sick. You, she cooked you chicken noodle soup and, you know, homemade chicken noodle soup. Cod liver oil, one of the most, and to me, of all the supplements out there, one of the most impressive that we have on the shelf, simply because of the omega-3. You know, cold water fish, John, we don't eat any really in this country. We don't eat enough of it. We eat catfish and crappie and things like that. Nothing. Especially being in the south. In the south, exactly. Yeah. We, we don't really have the cold water fish. Cold water fish have, an, uh, have a fat in them called omega-3 fatty acids, DHA, EPA. The, the therapeutic effects, and you look at some of the brightest people on the planet, where do you find them? Japan and Sweden and Norway and China. Those people all are eating these cold water fish and getting an enormous amount of this omega-3 fatty acid. One of the highest sources, one of the best sources, one of the cheapest sources, in my opinion, as far as dollar-wise, is a cod liver oil. And the difference between this and what your grandmother used to chase you around with, or at least with me, my great-granny used to chase me around with it all the time, uh, a tablespoon of this is going to go down a lot better than the tablespoon of uh, back in the 50s and 60s oh, yeah. oh yes because they have a way to process it now nordic naturals does a great product they have different flavors of the oil as well most important thing of any oil and that's the, with anything for that matter is freshness but oil specifically freshness really matters so it's purity and freshness these guys do a great job you take a shot of this you're going to taste the oil but you're not going to taste the fish. That's the most important thing. If you taste fishy, rancidity, that's a bad oil. Don't buy it. These guys do a great job with it. Well, I've seen quite a, a lot of literature on this company, uh, for example, and they pride themselves with purity and the process that they go through. Pretty much within hours after catching the fish, they actually harvest, put it in uh, containment, and basically – Go to work on it. Go to work. It does not sit around. It's not shipped out anywhere. They catch it. They have uh, contracts with the actual local farmers, and they're working like uh, fair trade issues. Yes, right? it, yes. And that, not only a company that's fair trade that does a good job, but like you said, processing that oil instantly, right when it comes off the dock, that makes a big difference. What is the culprit that really ages oil, degradates oil? Oxygen. Exactly. It's the same thing that causes wrinkles in our skin, rust on fences, and things like that. So, oxidation, oxygen is a good thing for us, but oxidation of cells is not good, especially when it comes to oils. causes rancidity, causes the oil to rancidify. Rancid oils are almost poison and toxic to the body, so you should never take a rancid oil of any type. Fish oil can go rancid on you very quick if you don't process it right. Well, exactly, and also talking about um, rancid are um, toxins, basically, just like our oceans are, are very toxic now. Yes. Uh, he- heavy metals, mercury, and cadmium, all these other uh, vicious metals are out there. There's no way of getting around it, but they have a special process that basically spins out the, the heavy metals so you don't have to worry about ingesting that when you take this product, unlike other companies that are out there. Right. Molecular distillation, we take all the PCBs, dioxins, mercury, those type of things out of it. Uh, the highest standards in the world we adhere to, in fact, actually beat them by 10 times, uh, the European standards. So certainly purity is there, freshness is there, and as far as what it does for the body, and as an athlete, John, you know, My number one supplement out on the market today is a tablespoon of cod liver oil. What it does for the body, what it does for me as an athlete goes on and on. Brain focus, heart health, anti-inflammatory side, sleep, fat loss even implicated with this stuff is arthritis. list goes on and on. So I'm a real big fan of this. I think it's one, again, the best supplement we have on the shelf. Everybody should be on Omega-3. Well, it comes in about five different varieties of flavors. Yes. Uh, Strawberry, plain... Peach, spiced orange, apple is spiced what I have here. Apple. I love this on my oatmeal. I actually take a tablespoon in the morning yeah. on my oatmeal with butter and mix it in. It's wonderful. It adds a great flavor to the oatmeal. You can get wow. it down you that way. Real quick on closing, though, if you're afraid of the actual liquid and you just can't do that. Afraid um, of liquids. <laughs> they um, also offer capsule. So uh, yes. there you go. Yeah, you can get it in a capsule. It, it takes about eight or nine to equal a tablespoon of this, so you'll be taking a lot of capsules. Well, I wasn't That's the reason. That to I know, but but it certainly <laughs> it certainly is better. You're always more potent, fresher, and and far better value for your dollar with a tablespoon of oil liquid. Yes. Well, excellent. Well, we appreciate you coming, Todd. It's always good I to hope be you here. Have John. a great week, and I hope you do as well. Have a great weekend.